Hello, my name is PHP Robodux, and today we're going to be doing a lab on candy chromatography. The first step in candy chromatography is to gather all your materials. So go ahead and gather them now. They're in the description below. Let's go ahead and move on to coffee filters. Now, this step with the coffee filters, what we want to do is we want to be able to take this round coffee filter and turn it into this, a 3 by 9 centimeter so when you're when you're measuring this out, draw it with a pencil, not a pen, because in this lab we're going to be using dyes, and we don't want to contaminate we don't want to contaminate the results by using. So pen. here we have the three by nine all drawn out, and all we got to do now is just cut it. All right, so now that we cut out the three by nine coffee filters, what we're going to want to do now is draw a, a line in half an inch from the bottom of both. All right, so for this next part, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to measure about a fourth of an inch apart in the line draw four separate dots. Not too big, but just visible enough for you to see them. You see here, you have red, and, and then label them. Red, green, orange, purple, like my candies that I have, or whatever colors that you have. Don't write them out all the way, but just make a, a letter or an, or an abbreviation that you'll be able to remember which one they are. Because when you do it later in the lab, you know, it may be hard to identify the dyes. So you want to label them now. So now what we're going to want to do for this part is we're going to be want to be able to take a drop of water and be able to put it on this aluminum foil paper and then put the skittles on it to remove the dye. And now we're going to take the skittles like so and move them onto the drop of water. This is to remove the, the dye that's um, layered on the Skittles or M&M's, whatever you're using. There we go. Okay, so let's see how this dye is coming off. You can see there. And there. And here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the Skittles, we're gonna take them off, and we're going to put them back on the other side. Because what we wanna do is we wanna get as much dye out of the Skittles as we can. Okay, for this step, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to take a pitcher a two liter pitcher or bigger. In this case I have my lemonade pitcher here that I usually make lemonade in and fill it with three cups of water. Okay for this next step what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take a eighth of a teaspoon of tea of salt, table salt, and just add it to the water like so and then mix right, it up. Let's go back to the skittles here and see how they're doing. Very good. As we can see it's taking both of both sides off. Excuse me for this one second. Okay, so now we have the dyes here, all four dyes. We have them labeled here, red, green, orange, purple. We have four toothpicks. And we're gonna take the toothpicks and we're going to try and take the dye off and put it on the paper here. Alright, so the next, the next phase is to measure about a fourth of an inch from the top of the coffee filter to, that's, because that's where we want the liquid to stop, once it starts, you know, percolating up. We want it to stop about that line. Alright, we're moving right along. Now, there's nothing in these cups yet, but we want to basically make the pencils be able to hold these straight down, just like this, before we add any liquid to these cups. Alright, for this next part, I'm going to want to fill this, cough, this, uh, this cup here until the water barely touches it. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and pour this in, but you want it to barely, barely, barely touch. There, like that. Just 
barely touching. Now we're going to want to do the same thing for the rubbing alcohol. And use your eye, watch it, make sure it barely touches. Barely, barely, barely. Okay, and there. There we go. Move the camera so you can see. It is barely touching the coffee filter paper. And now all you got to do is just wait and it will slowly percolate up. You have to be patient for this part here because we're waiting for the water and the alcohol solution to come up. And you'll be able to see by eye that this gets wet. So you just got to wait, you got to be patient. And we'll see what happens. All right, so that's coming up a little bit more. Now, the purpose of this is so that when this comes up, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to be able to measure how far these streaks go. Now, an observation that I made uh, during this lab is that the water salt solution percolates up faster than the alcohol solution. As we can see here, the alcohol, well you can't really see it, but it's, 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 it's just starting to touch the dye while the water solution over here is already about halfway up the paper. Going back to these eyes now, you can really see the color separation here. Looks like red, a little bit of blue with the purple. Alright, so it's been about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even 20, but I'm, I'm starting to get tired of waiting for this water to just barely hit that line. And over here, this is only about halfway to where the water solution is, so I'm going to go ahead and take the water solution out now. And I'm going to put it on the foil paper. And I'm going to start taking my measurements. Alright, so I've taken my measurements now, and I use centimeters because it is more accurate. And most scientists use the metric system in their lab results. I got red, 23 centimeters, orange, 41 centimeters, green, 43 centimeters, and purple, 29 centimeters. We're going to go ahead and let that dry as we wait for the alcohol solution over here to try and get a little higher and you know, have some more capillary action. I forgot to mention this earlier, but there's um, there's two phases in catamatography. There's the stationary phase and there's the mobile phase. The mobile phase is the liquid. We have our 1% salt solution and we have our alcohol. That's the mobile that's the mobile phase. And then the stationary phase is the, the paper itself. So mobile, mobile, Stationary. All right. So well, my alcohol stationary. one, which is this one right here, is pretty much close to where I stopped for the first one here. And I'm going to go ahead and measure those and record the observations. Now, one thing I do want to uh, point out here is if we look here on the water solution, it kind of washed away the graphite, and on the alcohol solution. It, it almost made it brighter, actually, and more clear to read. It did not all right, so really affect my the graphite at all. Measurements: I got red at 50, 50. I got orange at around 50, also. Green was kind of difficult. It was between 25 and 30. You know, it's kind of hard to see there. And the purple came in at 44. And the line at which the alcohol stopped. I guess you could say percolating or rising was 55 and on the water one here I stopped it at 60 centimeters okay well that concludes the lab thank you for watching and have a good day